Oh, just the front. Stopped in the bank. Good shot, though. We've just teed off the 12th, uh, Ollie winning the last hole with a five net four. Looking forward to him getting cut so he doesn't have so many shots. Um, this is certainly not a 17 handicap. Uh, so let's get some comps in. Got one coming up in February, get him down, hopefully. He does have a tendency to get a little nervous sometimes. But I'm sure even his bad rounds now are good enough. But uh, me and Rob in good positions off this 12th after our 12th teaser. Ollie a little bit right and Stu goat in the water. When I say water, this is what I'm referring to. You have to clear that water. And when I say water, I mean the water over the back there. Oh my god, my trolley. Um, but to be credit to Stu, he did go with a big dog, 278 yards. He tried to drive the green, hence going in the water at the back. What a course this is. The trees are just amazing. Like, just so good, so good. Not even playing well, yet thoroughly enjoying our life today. Which is ace. All right, see if me and uh, Rob can get one back here. Come on. All these having a look, see. Ooh. Stuart Pearson from the fairway, 13th fairway, 157 yards to the flat. Look at it. It's getting better and better. God. Pack it in. After a great approach, the stroke index one from Stu made par. We all struggled. Um, I won't tell you our scores. But uh, if 
gone three up. What we need now is some people from Ferndown Golf Club to come along and just uh, upset Stu and Ollie. And then we come back. But I um, don't think that's going to happen, eh? Two and a half hours away. So they're playing very well. Need to find something out of the bag now. On the 14th. Oh, and it's a very nice hole. And you are about to see it. How about this for a hole? What a par three this is. 185 yards to the flag. Straight down there. Mm, tricky pin that. Not for Ollie. That's a good shot. Front of the green. To go with Ollie. Six. Seven. Good shot. Safe net. Yeah, it's front of the green net. Whereabouts is that? Right. Over there somewhere. You are. You are right. In there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of G you are. It is in there. <laughs> Love it. And finally, Wayne Dewey. What you got, Club? Five iron. Five iron. Five iron. Five iron. Pretty much at it. Going on to the party. Yeah. Mate, good try. Oh, unlucky, mate. Good All effort. over it. Okay, we've got Stu. Little chip up. Shot. Great shot, mate. Well played. Rob's coming on now. Oh, Wayne's just hit his. And Rob's just come on. That's a good shot. How's that come down? I don't believe that. Oh, it's going. Good effort. So down four. Yeah. Four net three. Two days. Let's do trying to make a half here. Four is three. It's a great part. What a great part that is. Well done, mate. Sick of it. Okay, so an update. It's been pretty busy out here, so I'm not able to do too much filming. But um, we're on the 16th now, and it is Dormy 3 to the boys. Uh, all thanks to a 
fantastic eight foot putt on the last for a five for Stu. Downhill knee knocker. Hold it beautifully. Uh, down as well. To help his mate Ollie, he's, he's been carrying Ollie the whole round. It's just been brutal. Absolutely uh, brutal. Oh, Alright, mate, how you doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, a performance from Stu Pearson there. You cannot keep that man down. Just unbelievable golf. Birdie on the last. Can't do a lot with that, can you? Well, you're probably a bit close to me there, aren't you? Let's have a look at that. Oh, right in my face. I apologise. I want to be up there, do you? Um, incredible performance. Uh, Stuart Pearson, just excellent. Why would you do that? That really upsets me. Ollie is so sad. <laughs> Come on, what do you want to say? I think I've played really well. You've done all right, haven't you? No, I haven't done all right. I've done really well. You've done all right. You've done all right like everyone has. I've played better than him and put a point in at my partner. That's not true. It is. You Wait, just hold an eight footer for a see, half and see. then a 15 footer for a birdie. Okay, we'll go through the card, shall we? We'll go through the card okay. and we'll see how many I won versus how many Stuart won. He's a real team player, Ollie. And then you can start nothing stop knotting him off, can't you? And uh, he likes to think, you know, it's, it's all me. It's all me. We only won because of me. When Stu made an amazing half on the hole before when Ollie was free off the tee and I've makes a birdie on that one when Ollie wasn't 11, in the game. And... Well, why don't we go through the card? Let's go. Yep, yep. There's one, one. That, that was me. That was Ollie. That was me. <laughs> I, I, he was saying we dovetailed, dovetailed well until then. Yes, I don't know. It's stressy. Shirty, should we say? I'm fine. Stressy. I'm fine. I'm fine. I think we both played well today. Everyone's four, played four well today. Well, yeah. yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> we haven't. None of us have played well. Our shots are horrific. But it's a very tough course. Um, par three. Fantastic. Um, right. Par three. Game over. Three One all in the. You three over back nine? Yeah, apparently I didn't play. Yeah, yeah, Stu's yeah, yeah, been Stuart's shit this, so it's all up. about Ollie in the back nine. He's Stu's three over currently. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Loving life. Right. Anyway, we've got par three here, yeah? yeah. just for fun. This is dreamy. Nearest the pin, winner saves all. <laughs> what are we talking? Let's go to the pin. I haven't seen where it is. Oh, there oh. she is. Sure. It's not about the holes you win, it's about the holes you half, Ollie. Ollie's still going on about it. Alright, Stu on the par three now. So I did a little bit left. Down there somewhere she is. Nice shot. Probably stupid asking Ollie if he wants to do any filming. Not do any filming, Ollie? Sorry, I'm just yeah, he's just checking out who contributed most. <laughs> he's got his pencil. I'll ask you to do the filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. 
fun fact, my dad was actually at the British Masters standing behind this hole, got hit by one of the players. With a ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carnage. <laughs> Ollie's in a right sulk, so no more waiting for the camera. But he's played a nice little chip over there. Nice chip indeed. Rob in the bunker. Rob still in the bunker. Um, just because of his sulky situation, we just have to let you all know that on the front nine, Ollie actually, actually contributed on five of the holes and Stu only four. But we haven't totted up the back nine yet. He just wanted me to clarify that. So Ollie's done some more maths now and he just wants to tell everybody a little something about today. So on the back nine, I won four. Are you sure? Yeah. And uh you actually won three. There's, there's no I in team. Is there? Yeah, it's there weird because they didn't actually win seven holes on the back nine. I, that so win I don't or understand. Half. Win or half. Oh, we're not contributions. Yeah, contributions. One or half to four and yeah. Three to Ollie. Yeah. So in total, Ollie wins. Ollie wins his team event with Stu. Which and I didn't know about. <laughs> no, they didn't know about this. So Ollie wins with nine holes, and uh, Stu comes second because he's shit with seven holes. Uh, I didn't say he was shit. Oh. <laughs> he's not shit, is he? Hey, that's 18 holes, he's only played 17. Yeah, so one more, oh, one more after that. Sometimes you halve, you know. Anyway, get the camera off me. <laughs> Signing out. When do you go? Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, we're on 18 now. Ollie's lost his drive on 18 because that's how he's been playing lately. Oh, so that's another hole for me. That's another hole for Stu. She wants to come in on the last hole, so. They're like 9 and 9. I think we've got Ollie a little sulky. Oh, he's found his drive. Yep, found his drive. Up. He's happy. He's happy. Anyway, fantastic course. Come play Woburn. Um, we're going to hopefully play the Duchess in a minute. A few holes, anyway. Hello, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, viewers. <laughs> God. Right. It's a worry. Hello, viewers. Hello. I feel like I should apologise for my comments previously made against young Stuart Pearson and his golfing. <coughs> he did play very well today, just like both of us. And it is a victory for Team Pearson and Moore, which we'll take, won't we? Won't we, Mr. P? Yeah. Yeah. But overall, it was a brilliant, brilliant 18 holes. There were a great condition, great tree line course, and then it changed about 15 um, to something a little bit different, didn't it? Yeah, still tree line, but different trees. Yeah, basically. Uh, so it's got a real like, um, there's some holes that are just so similar to what you see on Augusta. Like, some holes are like that, like big dog leg lefts and downhills, round corners, round trees. like. Probably as close as you're going to get, and you're probably not going to play Augusta. No. So, seriously, come and play. If you can afford to play in the summer, Green Fee obviously gets whacked right up in the summer. If you can afford to do that, good on you. It would be incredible. The greens are amazing now. Barton on Sea was good last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Or two weeks ago, and uh, and they were another level again, really. 
Um, show you it's a bit of a frost in the morning, but once that thawed out, fantastic course. Great course, great hospitality as well, like overall. Like, you know, the pro shop were really good. Everyone we've spoken to has been really nice. Uh, course marshal was, you know, fine. He said probably get on with it once, and it was quite a steady pace throughout, so. Um, yeah, great day so far. Gonna go and have some lunch now, and then uh, on to the, what's it called? Duchess. Duchess. We're gonna slum it on the Duchess course. It's only ranked 94 in the UK. Slumming. Slumpy. 